Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. Today we're doing some Monday motivation. We're doing, what are you, what are you gonna do when you get a flat tire? Literally and figuratively, all right? So that's what we're gonna be discussing today as I walk my bike to the bike shop, okay? So I'm gonna strap you to the front of this thing so I can do some double duty and pull you guys with me all the way to the bike shop. I'm gonna see if I can find a gas station on the way over there and get some gas. But if I can't, it's gonna be all good. All right, so guys, I'll see you in a few seconds. All right, guys, so, you know, back to today's topic at hand. What do you do when you get a flat tire or when life gives you lemons or whatever? You know, whatever, um, uh, whatchamacallit, you want to stick here. Well, you just, uh, you, just, you know, you got to just go and do it. That's it. You know, basically, you know, what am I going to do? Am I going to sit here and cry? Man, I have no idea how shaky this is. I feel like it's extra shaky right now. Okay, crisis averted. You gotta continue on. We must continue onward. We are only 30 seconds into this ride. But yeah, if you, if you were to see this camera right now, how shaky it is, it's fucking crazy as hell. It's insane, the stabilization on this camera. But anyways, regardless, we're going with it. <coughs> Today's Monday motivation is, uh, you know, we're all roughing it out together. And that's basically it. And that's the thing, you know what I mean? You know, wh what it means to like become an adult, you know, because there's a lot of kids out there, right? A lot of millennials, a lot of uh, youngins out there that are just, um, you know, with that whole mentality of like, uh, of, um, oh man, hold on, I gotta, <laughs> I got so many things going wrong with the bike. Hold on a sec, hold on, hold on. Let me fix something. You know, I really hope that this doesn't mess up the, the the tire too much. Nothing much I can really do here. But anyways. Um, so yeah, yeah, let's, uh, let's get on topic here, guys. All right, so what do you do when life gives you a flat tire? Nothing, you get it fixed and that's it. And sometimes it's a pain in the ass and sometimes you know, it's uh, easy. Sometimes you get a flat right in front of the tire shop. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you get the, the flat as furthest away possible from relief. And what are you gonna do about it? Nothing, you can't do anything about it. You just gotta continue onward and push ahead and get her done. And that's about it because if you, you know, all of a sudden you're, you know, woe is me all the time. You know, you just fucking sit in there, you know, like, you know, uh, telling yourself, oh, this is never gonna get fixed. Why does this happen to me? You know, blah, blah, blah. Instead of just fucking dealing with it and, uh, you know, putting on your big boy pants or big girl pants and just going out there and just uh, getting it fixed. So, you know, again, right now I'm taking this as an opportunity to strap uh, the camera on the bicycle and do a Monday motivation. Look, honestly, I wanted to do a Mexico video um, but you know, this is more motivation than anything else at this moment. And that's, that's basically it. And so that's why what we're doing is on Monday motivation because yeah, I'm motivating myself on this one. I definitely, you know, so right now, uh, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> yeah, so right now. I don't want to be doing this. I mean, literally, I don't. Let me let me explain why, though. It's because, you know, this is day number two of uh, me being back in the office, all right? And, um, you know, I'm basically just out of shape. That's just about it, you know what I mean? It's been a while since I've taken a walk or a bike ride or anything, and I have lots of things I got to do today. You know, mainly, that's why I'm on my way to go get this uh, fixed, because... I gotta go visit a government office, you know, to get my immigration stuff situated. And um, 
I got two options. You know, I got option one, which is, you know, take an Uber to the office, take an Uber back, or option two, get my fucking bike fixed, all right? And then ride my motherfucking bike to the place, all right? And then, you know, in the meantime, record a video, maybe two, maybe three in the process and uh, end up on a net positive. And uh, you already know what I'm doing. And again, guys, I mean, you know, basically why I record all this stuff, too, is to, you know, inspire you guys to do the same shit. You know, there's a lot of times uh, you guys uh, out there just don't feel don't feel like it. Don't feel like doing it. Look, I, I honestly wanted to leave earlier and get this shit done earlier. But, you know, I was just procrastinating, you know, answering emails. Yeah, thanks, brother. Anyways, I'm uh, procrastinating uh, answering emails procrastinating doing a bunch of other stuff you know i mean it wasn't really procrastinating i was working but you know basically not what i should be doing so but i you know i've eventually got the the strength what's this guy waiting for come on um to go get, get it you know one of the things about being in mexico which is awesome is that everybody is always you know wakes up late um opens late that whole thing so even though i wanted to be there at nine in the morning they weren't even there or open so you know that's why i'm leaving now it's around 10 30 a.m it's around 80 degrees very very cool in comparison to what it normally is and uh yeah, you know, I love walking around and having people staring at me like, what the hell is this guy? This guy's just walking with a bike, talking to himself. Because this camera's so small, and I got it, like, in a inconspicuous way. Whoa, what? Where people don't really see it. But anyways. So, uh, yeah, you know, just going back to the Monday motivation thing. You know, guys, basically, you got to, a lot of the times, you got to motivate yourself. 99% of the time, you got to motivate yourself. Oh, yeah, that whole thing that I was getting at at the beginning of the video, um, you know, about the whole kids today that, you know, what, you know, they call, they call being an adult, adulting, and that the whole adulting thing's like, oh, I'm, I'm doing adult stuff, I'm adulting. And the thing is, is that, remember, <coughs> a good majority of the last few generations, or for a few decades, um, these kids, you know, they, they weren't raised like the generations before that, where they were taught, they were taught to adult, and in, in, in a lot of cases, they were already adulting, you know, by the time they got to high school, like me, all right? The whole adulting thing is like a fucking insult. But anyways, but the point is, is that, yeah, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are still trying to do this adulting stuff. They're still trying to figure that out. And, um, you know, basically this is part of adulting right here. You know what I mean? Like, you know, when you get a flat tire on your car or you get a flat tire on your, on your bicycle, on your whatever, what are you going to do? You know what I mean? You got to go do it. And this is, this is, these are the life lessons, these are the life experiences that prepare you. If you've had enough flat tires, if you've had enough of these situations, they're not a big deal anymore. You know, even if you have, right now, let's say you got AAA, you know, let's just say that you're in a great uh, position where you might have like AAA and they come to your house and fix the tire and shit like that. You know, that's still a, an inconvenience. There's still a minor inconvenience. There's still something that you have to deal with. And sometimes there's headaches involved, you know, um, in that process as well. And, uh, yeah, you know, basically you just got to keep rolling with the punches. And, um, yeah, you know, that's, that's it, guys. You know what I mean? Like, uh, basically, you know, why I put Gary V at the end of these motivational videos so much is because he talks about failure and losing so much. And it's not that we encourage, you know, the failure of losing you know we're not encouraging losing all the time but it's just basically saying that you know losing is uh 
major part of life and in fact there's more losing in life than there is winning and one can't really enjoy the winning without knowing what the losing is like or gone through that losing and all that shit so it's kind of like a, it's a double-edged sword guys you know what I mean basically so you know I love making these videos for you guys because again like I've said many many times before not only do I love when I hear or read the comments of how these things have inspired you but also you know vice versa you know what I mean how these things inspire me as well you know to do better to be better and all that stuff all right hold on a second I gotta take a two second break here but yeah man you know you guys you know every time I read in the comments um, like something positive like I did last week uh, very windy you know that's these are the things that keep me going you know um, I forgot who it was but one of you guys is like you know that initially they were inspired to move out of Mexico I mean to move to Mexico like me and this whole thing but that situation didn't pan out so you decided to just uh, you know just move out of your situation just better your situation and all of a sudden bam you're happier and um, you know again you know like I have I have my reason for being here but it's not like I didn't have an awesome time in the US and I love the I love the US you know the US is uh, my home where I was born and raised uh, that's that's I want to go back I want to be there I will go back and I, I do visit you know and shit like that but you know basically it's just about bettering your situation it doesn't have to be Mexico I remind you guys all the fucking time it could be anywhere anywhere on earth or anywhere in the US it might just be in, a, in like in the other part of your city you know what I mean it might not even be like something crazy it's something that uh you know we have more control over than we think we do and that's basically it you know what I mean like it's not, it's not and again a lot of this stuff is not rocket science you know what I mean you know just like right now what, what I'm doing right here right today it's it, it's did, did this take that much uh you know effort to just get on uh you know to just walk my dumb ass over you know to the to the bike shop now you just gotta do it you know that's it now i'm gonna see if i can get to the to the gas station that's before the bike shop to see if i can get me some uh air in the tire and then i'll ride the rest of the way over there see how that goes but yeah yeah sorry i'm uh whoop. i'm actually sweating out here so I gotta wipe my my. I got. Hold on a second, guys. A little outtake here. So again, guys, you know, as you guys already know, these Monday motivations they serve a double, a triple purpose. You know, it's not just to motivate you guys to do whatever it is you got to do, but it's like to show you my life as well. You know, the good, the bad, the ugly, so that you guys can also. Um, that I'm not just out here you know telling you guys all these motivational bullshit stuff and um, my, I'm living my best life like I'm, I mean I'm making an episode out of this and it's like it's all good and stuff but you know I'm out here sweating balls pulling my fucking bicycle in traffic you know hoping that I don't have major damage on my fucking uh, wheel bike you know like it's like come on you know but hey it's all in the mindset. Look, are you not worried this guy's not gonna fucking run my ass over? Yeah, no, don't, don't worry about it, bro, you know? So, yeah. Just making it look easy for you guys. Making it look easy. But so can you guys. You can do it too. I know you can. So, a lot, I remember guys, a lot of it has to do with mindset. So, you know, we can all do it. It's not really, it's not really that difficult, man. It really isn't. I mean, it is. Everything in life is difficult. Everything, you know, let me rephrase that. Everything in life is incredibly difficult. But that's the thing, though. You know what I mean? Are you going to embrace the challenge? Or are you going to let the challenge, you know, engulf you? 
You know what I mean? Look how safe this neighborhood is. People just leave their bags there like it's all good. So yeah, anyways. Try leaving your bags anywhere in the US. Either A, they get stolen, or B, you're gonna get arrested for leaving it there. Right? Right. Now, all right. We're on our way to get some air in the tire so we can, uh, we can uh, finish this off here. And then uh, hopefully once I get the air in the tire, I can continue or finish off the video on my way to the location I gotta go to. I really gotta take a piss too. Too much information, but it's okay. These are the struggles, guys. These are the struggles. I don't just do Monday motivation on good days. I do Monday motivation on all days, no matter what. And um, you know, sometimes I don't even I don't even have to say much. I know in today's video it's not about what I'm saying per se, but basically, you know, about the fact that you know, there's, there's a lot of people that um, you know see this see themselves in this situation. And um, sometimes, and look, man, I remember when I was poor, I would I would get a lot of flat tires because all I could afford is shitty tires. And um, <clears throat> and basically, you know, this video, just watching me go to the gas station, get some air, just go to the bike shop, get the bike fixed, you know, that alone is inspiring. That alone makes you feel better. And I get that, man, I get that. You know, again, this is why I do these things, you know? My struggles are your struggles, you know? It's like we all got these same struggles. And, um, that's it, you know, again, this uh, this flat tire could be anything, all right? Just think of it as uh, like a metaphor. Just think of it. You know, think of it like, uh, all right, let's do this. So, all right, I'm gonna see if I can get this tire. But anyways, yeah, just think of it like a metaphor. Think of it like, uh, it's just life. You know what I mean? It happens all the time. We all get flat tires, literally, figuratively, every every way, every which way we can. All right, so let's figure out this air situation here. Hopefully, I can get some air. Not sure where. Oh, there we go. I think I air. All right, so we got some bad news. As soon as I was putting that air in the tire, the air was leaving the tire. So we must trek onward, all right, to the, the place. Actually, you know what? Um, they had a bathroom there. Let me see if I can use the bathroom. I gotta take a piss. All right. That's just one of those days. Couldn't even use the restroom, fucking restroom. Someone lost the restroom key. It's like, oh, I don't know. Nobody ever lost the restroom. So anyways, maybe I can find a tree somewhere out here without getting in trouble. I'm trying not to do that. But we gotta make this happen. All right, so we gotta cross the street at some point. So yeah, guys. You know, so basically we gotta keep on trekking. We gotta make it happen. On our way to the bike shop. Uh, the bike shop's not too much further away, though. I just wanted to see what the hell is wrong with the bike. Now I know something's wrong with the with the tire. So who, who the hell knows? But we are going to a bike shop that is, uh, you know, they're good at this stuff. So you know, and again, guys, you know, anyway. So you know, basically now. You know, this, this adventure just continues. I mean, I had to go to the bike shop anyway, but, um, you know, sometimes this is just the way it is. As you're trying to get that tire fixed, you know, sometimes, you know, the easy solution tends to work out. Sometimes the easy solution, you know, um, works right away, but sometimes you got, you know, to deal with, uh, the solution that takes a lot longer but 
you know, basically you just gotta keep on trekking, man. And, um, you know, if you just remain positive, you know, it's all up to you whether you remain positive or not. You know, right now I'm remaining positive because it's like, yeah, I'm making a video out of it. We're taking a little walk, you know, and so on and so forth. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna show you a little bit of things that you can see on the other channel. You know, meaning, uh, you know, we're, we're coming up ahead to an area that I wanted to show you guys. But uh, now I can because I can just bring my, you know, my bicycle. And I can be here in a few minutes. We're not too far away from Walmart, by the way. Um, but we're just going like a different direction. And I know that I'm giving you like a, um, like a different perspective today. You know, basically on Monday Motivations, I show you my face. Also, when I'm showing you guys the front, you know, I tend to show you guys, you know, better views. But again, you know, today's a Monday motivation. You know, we're just, um, you know, just taking you with me. Remember that. And uh, we're, you know, doing this together. You guys are helping me as much as I help you. So today, you guys are helping me make this so much easier in such a more pleasant, you know, um, situation. So you guys are helping me you know make this situation better by being here with me so you know it goes both ways guys believe it or not i mean look i know it sounds crazy but you know if i just had to take this walk by myself with my headphones you know this ride would be a lot more difficult it just would be but since you know i i get to be here with you guys or you guys are here with me we're here together and um you know we're making our way together to the bike shop together um it's it's actually not so bad it's pretty pleasant i'm actually pretty surprised i'm already almost here because i know it's like a few blocks from here like less gotta figure it out so yeah let's just see how this goes so dude, right here is paseo montejo this is paseo montejo so we gotta i gotta cross this way And I think, I'm trying to figure out what, where that place is. Maybe I can ask, look, see, look, I'll give you guys an example of uh, another reason to move out here. If he, oh, he's not in there. Man, I thought, I thought there was someone in there. I was gonna ask him. All right, but I know it's this way. I think it's, oh yeah, there it is. I wanna say back there. Let me double check on the map. Let's go up here. All right. But yeah, like I was saying here, let me show you guys real quick while I'm looking on the phone. So I wanted to show you guys this place. So, one of these days I'm gonna bring you guys out here and give you a proper tour, a little proper tour of this monument. All right, I don't know if you guys can even see anything there, but I'll give you a proper tour of that monument over there. Oh geez, now my phone's all messed up. Ugh. All right, I'll check with you guys in a second. All right. All right. So I found uh, I found it on the maps. It says, oh, there it is. Bam. All righty. And we're almost here. So, all right, guys. I'm gonna start wrapping this one up as uh, we get to the bike shop. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for being here with me today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And again, I'm I don't know which episode you guys enjoy or not. I made an uh, an uh, apple cobbler video the other day that i thought was gonna blow up and nobody liked it and you know again sometimes i make these monthly motivations that i think are disastrous and you guys love them so you know this isn't a category of a disaster video but i think these are the ones that you guys like disasters which is great you know who doesn't love a disaster right but as you guys can see we have arrived that is the bicycle shop 
right there and uh, hopefully they can save my day because I'm my, my tire is dead and um, I've already been to like a bunch of places and uh, this is basically my last resort so look at that all right new tire okie dokie and I took it on another adventure after I got the tire fixed so I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of what happened when I got there yeah basically I got there and they told me oh we don't have your size we don't got your your anything we can't help you basically like no we don't we have absolutely nothing to help you and I'm like what do you mean you got nothing to help me there's nothing you can do you can't put another tire on there another size another this it's like there has to be something something I can't just you know walk my bike all the way back and it's like oh maybe another uh, BC Maya has it so I was like all right can you check he's like okay and it's like broken mm. so they check and they're like oh nobody has it then some other friendly guy is like oh you should go here go there go there but they were all like really far away and it's like fuck I don't have you know I don't want to walk another half an hour just to get to a bike shop so just to see if they have what I need so you know basically you know um I, I took a little breather went outside and then I came back in and I go guys there has to be something you can do is there any way that maybe I can talk to the mechanic is there anything there has to be something there's just absolutely no way that you can tell me that you have absolutely nothing that you can do for me are you kidding me it's a bicycle just put another tire on there just do something figure it out for crying out loud help me help you help me help me here and eventually the guy gave a sign he's like oh, all right hold on so he goes and he talks to the me mechanic and he's there talking to him for a while and then eventually the mechanic comes out he looks at my bike and he's like oh yeah don't worry about it I can fix it and I'm like motherfucker you know you're my Ugh. so I mean I don't even have time to get mad I was just like really happy and really thankful and I'm like man you're my hero I give him a big hug thank you so much boom and he goes and fixes my tire he comes back about 10 minutes later brand new tire and again I already rode this thing for another half an hour and bam it's amazing you know so far so good not complaining finally it got a new tire so anyways he tells me you know before I leave I go hey how much is it do I pay them or do I pay you and he goes no no just pay me um he goes 60 pesos and I go 60 pesos that's it and I'm like boom I gave him 100 and he was gonna give me change and I go no, keep the change and he was so happy and I'm like no are you kidding me thank you thank you so much and that's it so that's it. I just rode it around made a video I thought I got another flat I didn't get another flat everything's great everything seems wonderful it was just a shadow that made me think it was flat and it's all fixed and rectified so all right guys that's enough for today's Monday motivation we did it it was only you know you know a lot of sweat a lot of effort but we did it and um now you know i have a bike so that i can use to go to the immigration office tomorrow so i can run my errands and get my exercise and make more videos for you guys and all that stuff so you already know the deal check out this gary v video at the end of this and uh stay awesome i hope you guys are enjoying your monday i hope this uh very long monday motivation was uh awesome and fun for you guys uh because it sure as hell was fun for me you know <laughs> and, after it was all done not in the process but hey like, actually it was it was in the process but anyways all right guys i'm taking too much of your time your time is very important and i don't want to waste any more of it guys thanks again for watching you already know what to do please like please subscribe please share please check out the other web uh check out the the website check out the discord check out the other youtube pages that i have and check out everything guys i love you i'm, I'm out of here i'm getting my fr my brain is getting fried out here peace out and i'll see you guys manana bye not actually i'll see you wednesday for the live stream and manana on the other side Ah, bye. You can live on six hours sleep. So you have 18 hours. You have 18 goddamn hours. I want to know what you're doing with your 18 hours. Because you can work your nine to five, and that's nine. And you can travel for an hour here and there. Respect. Nice little solid commute. Oh, you want to be a family man? Mazel tov. You can spend two hours with your kids. What do you do with those other five hours? You're watching House of Fucking Hearts. You're playing Madden. You're relaxing from the other intense 10. Gary, I already spent 11 hours. Well, great, then don't complain or want more. Respect that by getting rest and this and that, you were giving up opportunity to go into a new world. You want the audacity to have a 1% life. Let's, let's call it what it is. You want to live as well as the one to 2% in the world. It's not very complicated, the math is very wrong. Like, you, if you want to have one of the best lives in the world, which is you live on your terms, and you have to pay your dues to get there. And you have to be lucky enough to figure out that you had talent in the thing that you actually want to do. Because you can work 24 hours a day and if you stink at golf or you're not a good content producer or your logos look like the shit I would make, then you're gonna lose. So that's what you gotta do.